Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a uh, quick just product walkthrough of the new Red X Roof Builder app. So we'll just follow along while we get started. Uh, so first off, we're going to have to draw the perimeter um, to do the initial roof build. So you can either enter the measurements of the wall's perimeter or start with uh, straight off with the roof. So if, um, we'll just start with the walls here. If we're doing a garage, for example, um, we can draw out the dimensions you can tap on these dimensions to enter specific distances we're going to do a 16 feet by 10 feet build let's do 16 by 12. Uh, just hit that 12 there as i'm going around the perimeter you'll notice um, the it'll snap into place at different angles so 45 degrees 90 degrees um, you can also tap on these values if you wanted to have a 55 degree for example you would just do that so and then we have our undo buttons in the top uh, right corner it's going to undo that um, then we're going to keep going drawing the full perimeter and then to complete the path you have to connect the two blue dots to tell the program that you're finished so once that's complete you'll see the app just kind of shows a default uh, view of what that looks like you have your toggles at the top 2d and 3d manage layers you can show the roof sheathing um, you can hide that edge rafters so that'll be your, your hip rafters ridge and valleys and fascia boards uh, or the, just the common rafters you can kind of hide that to see a better look at that and then parts labels so that'll be every rafter's got a label so you can um, toggle that on and off um, if you look under from the bottom up you'll see we see our fascia dimensions um, you can tap on those to set a custom um, offset so uh, for example if this side is 24 inches oh, not 24 feet and let's just do one feet six inches So that'll, uh, that'll be from the wall to the end of the fascia board there. That's how that would look. Uh, I'm gonna undo that. If you go to the main settings, you'll see some more options. So we have a walls tab. If you wanna set the initial wall height for the under the roof settings, we'll see your initial roof angle. So if we put a value of 812, um, you can also set an angle if you prefer in degrees. Just select that. I'm just gonna keep it as 812. Hit done. You'll see the roof gets regenerated with uh, your settings there. Same thing if we do a fascia overhang of one feet. Um, tab tab six inches. Um, everything gets updated like that. Uh, rise to roof start. So that is from the if i just go into this mode here so that's from uh, the bottom all the way up to where the the, the roof edges would start um, so if you have a specific dimension you want for that you can enter that there uh, the height above plate so that is the value uh, from uh, at the bird's mouth here going vertically up um, let me see if we go back to the main settings if we kind of show that off there that's what that looks like um, default is four inches. We can do, uh, for example, um, let's just do uh, five inches just to get a, see how that works. So, and then if we tap on this individual rafter to go inspect, you'll see that it has set this five inch height above plate. Okay, that moves us to the next step. So, if, say we want to have uh, this side as a, a gable, we can uh, tap. You'll notice uh, if you tap on the rafter, uh, that won't select uh, the roof side. But if you tap in between the rafters, that'll show up these options where you can open the roof side settings and convert that. So that'll open up this roof side setting. So um, we can edit that specific roof pitch if we want to say we want a 612 on this side. So that, that'll edit that uh, only that roof side. We can also convert that roof side to a gable. And that will look like that. 
um, same thing. And then this side, we'll just um, set it as a bit of a steeper pitch. So we'll do a 12 pitch on this side. And uh, that looks good. Um, same thing like we talked about. You got the overhangs here. If you wanted this overhang to be a uh, longer or shorter, you can play around with that. Uh, so as we've been working, everything has been getting built automatically. The rafters have been getting placed automatically also, but you can uh, we can edit individual rafters to move them out if we want to. So if say we wanted uh, to match up these rafters here, we can toggle these measurements and we can see that um, this specific rafter here is one feet four from the start of the fascia to the center of this rafter. So if we turn around here, do the same thing on this one, we can, uh, oh, well, it's already at one foot four because it's uh, obviously an irregular hipped roof. Let me uh, do a better example here. Um, let's convert this side back to an eight. Um, and you'll see by default they already line up, but say you wanted a uh, custom measure measurement here We wanted two feet you just hit two feet there and then that'll move over That rafter like so and then same on this side if we wanted to play around with the measurements Line up the rafters how we want them We'll do that and then they'll just move over like that And then if you wanted to keep going with all the next ones if we open the measurements again um, with our default uh, main roof settings we set that we want a one foot six or one foot four uh, default rafter spacing so it'll recommend that as we keep going here so we can tap on all these measurements and it's going to recommend us a one foot four spacing we can keep going all the way up the hip just like that and then we'll do the same thing on this side one feet four, one feet four. Oops. One foot four. One foot four. And uh, one foot four. So that's just kind of how that would look um, to move around individual rafters. You can also uh, select any of these, hit move, and then you can just kind of move them to how you'd want them if you prefer to do them like that. Uh, then we can uh, tap on this view PDF to see the PDF. Under the PDF, you'll have PDF options. You can select to either view the back, or the front, or the top down view. And then uh, there's a color mode, so if you want just a black and white. And then there's a text scale, so we can bring down the text scale if there's any. Um, issues with that. And then you can print or download the PDF there. All right. Um, there's also an inspect rafter. So this is a 3D inspect of just this rafter. So you can uh, you can either view specific sides, left, front, right, or uh, just leave it in 3D and then you can uh, look around at all the measurements. Um, you can see the, the the saw cut angle, and in the corner of the actual blueprint, you'll see we have our part label, the overall length. Overall length is the actual board length that you would need to cut out of this. So you need a, a board that's at least four foot five and one eighth. We have a rafter angle that's thirty three point six nine. So that's would be basically the opposite or the 90 degrees minus this value, so that's um, about this other little quarter here, about 33 degrees there. Then we have our after pitch as well, and our material size is uh, two by six. Um, and then here we have the vault, the vault view. If you just tap on that, then you'll see other options come up, like uh, we have these rise measurements, so um, not too, useful with uh, um, these simple builds but for 
more complex builds, it could be useful to, to see where uh, how, where that uh, hip rafter lands, for example, in 3D space vertically. Or for a ridge, that's great for a ridge to see. If you want to set your ridge first, you can have the exact measurement so they can inspect that. This is a ridge. We can tap on it and we can see the rise measurement. So it goes at, um, so we got 12 feet, eight and a half. So we can set that ridge up first there at the exact height. Uh, you can also tap it again if you have intersecting rafters. Um, the app's gonna show every, so basically the, the layout of where those rafters intersect. So if you grab your tape from the corner here, starting at zero, six inches, X ahead, one foot 10, three foot two, and with all the, the labels of the rafters that are intersecting into that. Uh, same with both sides. So yeah. both sides have rafters intersecting and we can do the same thing with the hip rafters and you'll see uh, if we go default view, rise measurements and intersections, starting from the bottom, we can hook up our tape zero, two foot eight and three eighths and so on. And you'll see the rafters R13, R14, R11, R10 and R9 are intersecting into this. As we can see here, R13, 14, 11, 10, and nine. Okay, um, next I guess we can talk about the, the reports. Uh, reports is where you can view your material list and cut list. Um, material list, so we have our, 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 at the first here we have the, the roof plywood, so that's uh, the four by eight by three eighths is the thickness of the sheets we've selected. We have our two by six and so on. There's the roof area, so in square feet and square meters, the ridge linear length, that's, um, and then we have the hips, so good for um, hip, if you're calculating how many ridge caps you need, etc. cetera. And at the gables linear feet, so that's just for the gables. And then the fascias, that's, that's gonna be the lower boards down here for gutters or things like that. Then you have your cut list, so everything gonna get split up into uh, its category. So we have the ridge rafters, ridge rafters and hip rafters, or fascia boards, common rafters. You can tap on any individual rafter to bring up the plan of that individual rafter, or you can hit the PDF, and that will export into a PDF um, all of those items in that list. So if you hit PDF on this list, it would export all of these rafters. Uh, another great feature with this is uh, the actual PDF. If we hit view PDF, the app automatically creates nice PDFs for you. So you can actually change different views. So front left, front right, as you switch, it will regenerate. You have other options um, like uh, roof name, address, phone number. That's gonna go down here. There's also an option to set your own custom logo if you'd like. If you hit to the next page, you'll see the top down we have of this roof with all the labels. This is that walls. So we see how that looks at the dimensions at the walls. And we have elevation views. So, um, of the specific sides. Then we have our roof plywood. All right, and that's a pretty good basic start of that. I guess we have more options here. Camera views, you can hit the front, right, back. Okay, so that's what we've built so far. Uh, we can quickly discuss if you had different roof heights. So if I go over to shaping, edit roof edges, that'll show you a simple view of your roof edges. We can tap on any side here. We can, for example, let's uh, say we needed this one at six feet six foot six it'll edit that rise to roof start to that 
dimension and the whole roof gets updated there just like that. Um, I think that pretty much wraps up the demo for this roof. So thanks for uh, watching the video and then um, I'm going to be making some more videos.